guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the time, it's dinner time. So for today's video, we're gonna be cooking dinner. An all-American classic macaroni and cheese. Yes! I love macaroni and cheese. It's one of the only things I ate as a kid. Like, literally one of the only things. So yeah, we're gonna make it. <laughs> the number one thing I've been doing during the quarantine is cooking. Like, finding a bunch of recipes online and just making them for fun and then eating them. I've been doing a lot of these videos on Instagram, and so I thought I'd do one over here. So I found this recipe for mac and cheese that honestly looks so bomb, but I've never had it before. So we're gonna just make it and see if it's good. Hopefully it will be good, because that's what I'm eating for dinner. Let's do it. So, the first thing we have to do is get all the ingredients. Macaroni noodles, flour, low-fat milk, dry mustard, garlic powder, butter, cream cheese. This is where I'm from. And then the two cheeses we're gonna be using today are extra sharp cheddar cheese, the yellow one, and mozzarella cheese. <laughs> mozzarella. And mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella cheese. This is literally all you need, plus salt and pepper, of course. What we're gonna do first is measure out all the ingredients that we need, because apparently the cooking process is very speedy. You have to do everything really quickly, so it's best to have your ingredients measured out beforehand. Bowls! Okay, I'm gonna measure everything out into some bowls. First thing we need is three and a half tablespoons of flour. So I've been doing these cooking videos on IGTV and you guys were shitting on me over there saying that I was using wet measuring cups for dry ingredients and vice versa. Uh, I still don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna continue to ignore it and do whatever. One. Two. Did I wash my hands? Three and a half. So here's our flour. Next we need three and a half tablespoons of butter. That's pretty simple because we just cut along these tablespoon lines. Get a close up of that. The hairs on the front. Can you guys see the hairs flying off this? <laughs> there's literally so much hair on this butter. I'm gonna pull it off. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there's one hair. Here's some more. Here's some more hairs. So what's really fun about this is actually, I just cut the stick of butter directly in half so I could use either one of these. Okay, so. Next we need a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. I'm gonna use this little bowl, it's really cute. I love mustard. Why? I thought it was gonna go into the why, sink. Why could? Next we need a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, next I need two and one thirds cup of low fat milk. There we go, okay, that's all the milk. Okay, so this is eight ounces of cream cheese. We only need four, and then we need to dice that into small chunks. Cut this in half. All right, so now we're just gonna cut this into squares. Ew, I don't like cream cheese, honestly. Put it in this bowl in little squares. Where the f did this hair <laughs> come from? Okay. I think the final thing I need to do is just grate this cheese, and I literally need the entire thing. Since this is the last step, and this is a lot of cheese that needs to be grated, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start boiling a pot of water for the noodles right now. So add like a ton of salt to your pot. All right, let's start doing this. It's gonna take forever. Put some of this in here so far. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's a lot of cheese. Tell me, this looks good. All these ingredients together. Okay, so all my ingredients are prepped. The rest of this cheese, we're gonna be using about half the bag of it, but it's already grated, so. We have to wait until the water boils before we can get started. But we are going to be using basically like this entire box. But good news, you guys, this is a part of a healthy diet. So this dinner is very nutritious and good for you. Zero fat. Mozzarella. I love mac and cheese. Me too. So apparently I didn't add enough water 
into the pot. Well, now it's not boiling anymore. Well, that's what happens when you don't have enough water. Also, why is this not on high? Oh, I thought it was. Mom came in the kitchen and was getting mad at me. Concentration. 64. Do the numbers. The by the score. Trying to apologize You're so ugly when you cry Please, just cut it out You really had me going Pause boiling Perfect, look at that Alright, now put your hand in to make sure it's hot See? <laughs> it's time to add the macaroni Alright, so I need 14 ounces and this is 16 I guess I'll leave like that much, right? Yeah Okay Okay, Google, start a timer for seven minutes. Seven minutes, and we're starting now. Okay, guys, now comes the fun part. Everything's happening very quickly all at once. We're going to make a roux. So to do that, we need a bigger pot. This one, I'm gonna put it here. So we're gonna melt the butter and whisk in this flour and make a roux, let's do it. Making sure not to brown the butter. I'm gonna start adding the flour now. Okay. Okay, now really quickly, I have to add in the milk. And now we need to add in the mustard and the garlic. Woo! Okay, that was stressful. So, everything's in here, and I need to just keep whisking it until it starts to simmer. The macaroni noodles are done. We need to reserve some water. Oh my God, this is so stressful. I've got my sous chef in the kitchen to help me out with the macaroni noodles because now I need to add in the cream cheese to the milk and everything and keep whisking it. And reduce to low. Okay, now I turn the heat off and we're gonna add in the cheese. Just a little bit at a time. Oh, it's turning yellow. Love. So cheesy. Oh my god, no fucking way. Yum. Guys, look at this cheese I made. Shut up. Season with salt. And now, I guess we just add in the macaroni. Here are all of my noodles. Here we go. Come on in, noodles. Welcome. You hear that? That's what good mac and cheese sounds like. Oh my god, this is cheesy as hell. Guys, I know you can't smell this at home, but here in the kitchen, it smells amazing. Should we put some pepper in it? Yeah, I don't care. I think it looks good. Mmm. This was a little stressful. Put some in a bowl. This looks so good. Okay, here is the finished product. This cheesy. This looks amazing. I'm about to try it right now, so hopefully it's good. Mmm. 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 I mean, love. Mmm. Mmm. You want some? Yeah. It looks so good. Mm. Like it? Yeah, it's so good and so cheesy. Mmm. Yum. We did it. Whew. Okay, well, I'm honestly sweating. That got kind of intense. You need to move pretty quickly so that some of the ingredients didn't get, you know, f***ed up. But I think I successfully did it. This mac and cheese is amazing and I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna go so I can eat this. Mm. Mm. So on that note, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I love cooking. I love making cooking videos. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. It really helps out my channel. And also leave a comment down below letting me know if you want me to make another cooking video. And if you do, what should I make? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next Saturday with another new video. Bye.